Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish, Move, Love, and this is your 35-minute cardio and core workout. This is part of our Hit Strong 35 program. Today is all about the core, which is the foundation of our body. It controls and stabilizes us as our arms and legs move away from us. That's exactly what we're gonna do today, non-traditional core training. You're not gonna do a single crunch in today's workout, but I promise you are gonna feel that core. And because our core is all at different levels, Rachel is gonna be our modifier. She is gonna show you how you can scale every exercise and make it work for you so you feel successful. Today's workout looks like this. You have three circuits. Each circuit, we drop exercises and drop time. Circuit number one is five exercises for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Circuit two is four exercises for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And circuit three is three exercises for 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So Rachel said it best, if you can survive circuit number one, you're gonna make it through the workout. You just gotta get through circuit one. All you need are some dumbbells. This is core training with weights. Let's get it started with a good warm up. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's go. Big inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, baby back bends. Nice, reach it up. Right wrist grabs left, up and over to the right side. Nice side body stretch, back to center. Switch it out, up and over other side. Back to center, drop it down, flap the wings. Take the hands behind the back, big inhale. As you exhale, chest expansion, forward fold. Nice, knuckle fall towards me. Release your hands down to your big toes. Drop down into a low squat and wobble side to side. Awesome, starting to open up those hips. From here, you're gonna plant your hands on the mat and you're actually gonna step back into a quadruped position. Shoulders stacked over wrist, hips over knees. Awesome. From here, we are going to go ahead and you're going to take your right arm and bend it at 90 degrees and you're going to lift and lower. Option, stay here. Option, add your left leg. Both arms and legs are bent at 90 degrees. Right here, core is stable and control. I'm lifting and lowering, stabilizing through that spine. Awesome, right here. Nice, go, four, three, you got it. Give me two and one. Hold it here. Now, can you shoot that right arm straight out? Shoot that left arm straight back. Flex that left foot. Hold here. Stabilize the core for three, two, and one. Come back to center. Cat cow, drop the belly. And then arch that spine up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin towards your chest. A couple cat cows so you can find out what it feels like to move your spine throughout the range of motion. And then know what it really feels like when we say stabilize your spine. Find that nice neutral position throughout each exercise. Take one more. Drop the belly and lift the chin or tuck the chin bring it back to neutral hold it here bend that left arm at 90 degrees lift that left arm and lower it option add that right leg left arm right leg lift up and down you go eight nice work seven stabilize that spine lock it in control it nice right here final four three big bird dog extension and two and one reach that arm and leg away from each other flex that back right foot hold it here Stabilize it for three, two, and one. Awesome job from here. Kick that right leg out, and you're just gonna point the toe up towards the ceiling. Drop it down, point it up, drop it down. Give me four, nice. Three, awesome job. Two, and one. Take that right leg, step it right outside the right hand. Take your right hand to the shoe. You can slightly move this left knee back if you need to. Take a nice hip opening stretch as you open the shoulder. Bring it back, tap down. Open, big side sweep. Bring it back down, nice. You got three more, give me three. Awesome job. Give me two. Nice work, last one. Last one, awesome job. Step back to high plank option. Kneeling high plank, shoulders over wrist. Toes are tucked under, pull the kneecaps up, push back on the heels, hold it here. Option, tap side to side or jack it. Jack your plank, four, eight, seven, Six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Step that left foot out outside the left hand. Drop your back right knee to the mat and go for those shoulder sweeps. Big shoulder sweep. Back to center. Tap it down. Big shoulder sweep. Back to center. Tap it down. Nice. Go three. Awesome job. Give me two. Gaze follows fingertips. Last one. Big sweep. Set it down. Bring it up to a half kneeling position. Kick that left leg out. Toe up, toe down. Toe up, internal and external hip rotation. Two more, two more, lift up and down. Last one, lift up and down. Take it to your backside. We're gonna find out how to lock in that core when we're laying on our back for a couple exercises, okay? Legs are bent at 90 degrees. Closer my knees are to my chest, easier it is. Farther they are, harder it is. External cue, there's a marshmallow right here. 
Squish it in. Big inhale. Exhale. Squish that marshmallow. Hold here. Arms go straight overhead. Dead bug. Opposite arm. Opposite leg kicks out. Nice. Exhale. Kick. Inhale. Back together. Exhale. Kick. Inhale. Back together. We're going to say it. I think this is the number one core exercise we're not doing enough of. This is so much stabilization, so much control. My core stabilizes me, avoids any movement, locks it in as my arms and legs move away from my body. Nice, one more each way. Side, center, side, center. Can you keep that right leg lifted? Take that left heel to the mat, heel to the mat. Right leg stays here, feet are flexed, lift and lower. Gotta activate those glutes, they're part of that core. Lift up and lower, drive through that single leg. Nice, drive through the heel, hover and lift right here, final. Four, switching sides in three and two and one. Switch it out, left foot down, right foot up, heel digs into the ground, down and up. Dig that heel to the ground. I gotta get that heel in there, nice. There we go, right here. You got it. Lift and lower, keeping this other leg bent at 90 degrees. Come on, you got four. Nice work, three, awesome job. Final two and one. One, that core is nice and fired up. Bring it up and over. Let's come up to a standing position and get that heart rate where it needs to be. Let's jack it out. Jack it, jack it, jack it. Nice, go eight, seven, six. High knees in four, three, two, one. High knees, get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up. Ready? We're gonna move side to side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna train in all planes today. That's a good way to work the core. Moving front to back, side to side, pivots and twists. You got it, right here. Go three, two, last one, one. Nice work, nice work. Butt kicks, heels to the glutes, heels to the glutes. Run it out, run it out, run it out. Push those arms overhead, go eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready to do it, Rach? Let's go. Woo, let's go. Circuit one. Rachel said it, if you can survive it, you're gonna make it through, okay? 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, five exercises. These are big, complex exercises, okay? So we're gonna walk through it. First move, first two moves are body weight. Down dog, bear, push up, bear. Good warm up move. Okay, so it goes down dog, bear. Rachel's gonna drop her knees to the mat. Jump back, push up, bear. Down dog, hover. So in that bear position, my knees just hover two inches off the mat. Rachel's gonna drop her knees to the mat. Down dog, bear, push up, bear. Flow through it at your pace. Great way to warm up the body and the core. You ready? 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. This is move number one. Move number two, we're gonna hold that bear crawl. You'll be on the ground for the first two exercises. Mentally prepare yourself for that. Here we go, you're on. In three, two, find that down dog. Down dog, knees hover, jump back, push up or knees to the mat. Jump in, bear. Down dog, bear. Jump back, push up, bear. Down dog, bear. Jump back, push up. I think these are the only push ups we're gonna do in today's cardio and core workout. That's good news, right? Push up, you got it, bear. Down dog, your pace, your tempo, you guys. Come on, stick in it. It's 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. One rep at a time. Flow through at your pace. Come on, 10 seconds here. Down dog, bear. Jumper step back, push up. Jumper step in, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, we're gonna stay in that bear crawl position. We're gonna come this way because we're gonna walk laterally. I'm gonna hold my knees two inches off the mat. Rachel's knees are gonna stay on the mat. Walk, two, step or jump back to plank, jack, two. Bear crawl, two, to the side. Tuck those toes under, we're walking to the left. In three, two, Knees hover off the mat. Walk, two, step or jump back, jack, jack. Back to bear crawl. Walk, two, step or jump back, jack, jack. Rachel's doing it from her knees, you guys. Crawling laterally is hard, right? Mentally engaging, it's tough stuff. There's a reason they say crawling is like one of the best exercises. Babies do it, right? It's a movement we lose. We are all about bringing you movement and mobility back into your body. Jack, jack, you got it right here. Come on. Yes, you can. What would it look like if I said 10, 9, 8, you got it. 7, stay with it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! That's a move. 
Okay, this move's gonna take a second to explain. We'll stop the timer if we need to. I want you to get it, grab those dumbbells. Fun move, really gonna get into full body core training right here, right? That's what this is. Okay, so step back on the right leg, lunge. As I drive up, dumbbells come here. Load transfer, switch, opposite arm press. What, I know, step back, lunge left. Drive, load transfer, switch, push left. Okay, that is your move. You're gonna take it at your pace, your tempo. It is a tough move. Option, try it with just weights or without weights. It's a new move. Take it down a notch, take it where you need to be. Simplify it, okay? We go 45 seconds. In three, two, step back right. Lunge right, drive it up. Load transfer, press right. Step back left, drive up. Load transfer, punch right, or left, sorry. Step back right, drive up. Load transfer, Woo. press right. Step back left, drive up. Load transfer, punch left. Nice work, it's slow and controlled, you guys. This nice little load transfer with a push. See how all those wobbles are happening? This takes a lot of core strength. Woo! And mental, like my brain is working so hard right now. Mental and physical strength. Woo! Right here, let's go finish it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take those dumbbells and frame your right foot. Make an L, one dumbbell in front, one dumbbell to the side. You're doing a single leg deadlift. Tap, drive, tap, drive. Standing on that right leg, tap in three, two, left hand. Tap the dumbbell in front of me, drive up. Tap the dumbbell to the side, drive up. Tap in front, drive up. Like I said, I think this is better than any crunch exercise you are ever gonna do. Right here, nice work. You got it, keep those core, that midsection pulled in nice and tight. Shoot this leg straight back behind you as you reach across your body. It's tough, this is tough stuff. You can slow it down, move at your pace. Woo, you're gonna feel that standing leg. You got it, nice work, stand at 10 seconds. Drive up, nice work, we're down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. Down to the ground, dead bug. The move we did in the warm up, what I think is one of the best core exercises we're not doing enough of, so you get to do it today. Here we go. Arms are straight up overhead, legs are bent at 90 degrees. Farther they are from my body, harder it is. Big inhale, exhale, squish that marshmallow in the small of your back, and let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, kick out. In, exhale out. In, keep those feet dorsiflex, flex. Nice. Trying to drop that leg close to the ground. Taking out any coning or doming of that midsection. Focusing on really pulling that rib cage towards the hip bone. Nice, pull that rib cage towards the hip bone. Like I said, it seems like an easy move, but you guys, if you do this move, so much core activation, so much strength. A move I could do daily and continually find something, some way to make it harder or get better at it. Nice work, you're in the final five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice work. That is circuit number one, 45 15s. We do it again, starting with down dog bear, push up bear. Okay, getting right back into it, guys. In three, two, find your down dog, down dog, bear, jumper step back, push up, bear, down dog, bear, jumper step back, push up. There, these are a lot more strength heavy on the front end. We'll pick up that heart rate in the second two circuits. Bear, down dog, bear, jumper step back, push up, lowering as one straight line. There, keeping those knees nice and close to the mat. Lots of core engagement from head to toe here. That neutral spine. Thank goodness for that down dog. You get to press out and stretch it out real quick each time. 10 seconds, let's go. You got it. Come on, stay with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Push-ups, all right, here we go. Lateral walk, start on the right side of your mat. We're gonna laterally walk to the left. Crawl it or bear crawl it. Lateral for two, jumper step back, two plank jacks. Tuck those toes under, shoulders packed down. We go in three, two, let's go. Walk, two, step or jump back, jack, jack. Bear, walk. Walk, step or jump back. Bear, or jack, jack, sorry. Bear, walk, walk, jack, jack. You got it, your pace, 
your tempo one rep at a time. Stay in it, stay in it. Woo, feeling those shoulders right now. Yes, I am. Come on, you got this. Yes, you can. Walk it, walk it. Jump back, Jack, Jack, you're in the final. 10, nine, eight, you got this. Seven, stay with it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, up to standing, load transfer. Two dumbbells, one lunge. Step back left, shoulders are down and back. Step back left, drive the dumbbells to the shoulder. Knee drive, load transfer, opposite arm punch. Three, two, let's go. Step back left, drive, load transfer, punch left. Step back right, drive, load transfer, Woo. punch right. Step back left, drive, load transfer, punch. You got it, nice, down, up, transfer, that load transfer is really where that core comes in. We are unilateral creatures, constantly shifting our weight from one leg to the other. You got it. Woo, that opposite overhead push. Come on, Lindsay. Woo! Ah, reset. Load transfer. Push for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Do your best, guys. Forget the rest. Take those weights. Make an L around your left leg. Left foot. Left foot, right? Single leg deadlift taps. Left leg standing. Right hand taps. Tap in front of me. Tap to the side. Hello, core. Three, two, Let's go. Tap in front. Find that focal point on the ground in front of you. Shoot that leg straight behind you. Keep those hips square to the mat. It's really easy to let that right leg start to float open. Reach across your body. Nice. Tap when you need to. Awesome job. Woo, you're gonna feel that standing leg, right? And that core, unilateral move. Single leg exercises, single-sided exercises. One of my favorite ways to bring core training into my workouts every day. Focusing on one side of the body at a time. You got it. Stay in it. Right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. When I do that at home, I play a game with myself. Every time, down to the ground, dead bug. I have to tap my foot and make myself do a push-up. Because I'm not good at push-ups and I want to get better at them. Down to the ground, dead bug, set it up. Legs bent at 90 degrees, arms straight overhead. Squish the marshmallow in the palm of the back. Big exhale. Let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Kick out. Really focus on pulling those hip bones together. If there's a blueberry sitting on my belly button, I'm trying to squish it. Nice. Use your breath. Big audible exhale out through the mouth. You got it. Nice work, you guys. I went to pelvic floor physical therapy after having my second baby, and this was the move. My therapist was like, you gotta do it every day. One of the best core exercises there is. Right here, regaining that core strength, keeping that midsection in and down, avoiding all coning or doming. Keep going, guys. You're doing it for three, two, and one. You're out. Nice work. Grab your sweat towel, grab your water. That's circuit one. Moving on, we're gonna amp it up a notch in circuit two. A little bit more cardio focus. You got four moves, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Only four exercises, yes? Only four exercises. All right, I'm gonna show you move number one. You're gonna use one dumbbell for this circuit, okay? One dumbbell, let's see, what are we gonna do? I'll use a, I'll use a 20, I'm gonna try and amp it up today. Try and amp it up for you guys. One dumbbell, it is three crossbody mountain climbers, four, four crossbody mountain climbers, one dumbbell pull through. So Rachel's gonna do a single-sided knee pull and then a dumbbell pull through. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, pull that dumbbell through. One, two, three, four. Pull that dumbbell through. I'm not gonna get your hands in my reach. I'll come up. Okay, so those are my moves. Four cross body climbers. Rachel's doing four knee drives on a single leg and then switching sides. That's your first move. We'll talk about the next move as we get going. You ready to pick it up? Thing? Ready? Re are you ready to amp it up a notch? Let's go. Woo! 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're on in three, two, let's go. Climb for one, two, three, four. Pull that dumbbell through. One, two, three, four. Pull that dumbbell through. Hello, let's go, core. One, two, three, four. Pull it through. Nice, keep that weight shifted over your shoulders. Don't push back. Nice straight line, nice neutral spine. Two, three, four. Pull that dumbbell through. You got it. 
Awesome job, you guys. Come on. That work time drops, that rest time drops. Right here. Come on, stay in it. Pull that dumbbell through. You're in it. Right here. You got it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Sit it back. Stretch it out. Nice work. 20 seconds of rest. Take that dumbbell up to a standing position. Up to a standing position. It's a staggered chop. Left leg forward. Right toe back. 80% in that left leg. 20 in the right toe. Right knee, left shoulder. Right knee, left shoulder. Down, chop. Make it big. Make it heavy. We go in three, two. Let's go. 40 seconds. Come on, chop. Boom. This is a hip dominant movement. Hip and core. Core stabilizes, hips drive. Core stabilizes, hips drive. Up. Up. My hair is sticking to the sweat on my neck. I love it. Come on. Heart rate's gonna rise. Let's go. You got it. Right here. Finish. 10. Come on. Let's go. Bring it home. Final. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! 20 pound felt heavy. Down your back, leg lowers. I'm gonna bring that one dumbbell with me. I'm just gonna hold it directly overhead. It's an option. Anchor it in. 40 seconds, alternating leg lowers. Right here. Feet are flexed. Drop one leg at a time. Bring it back to center. We go in three, two, one. Same thing, squishing that marshmallow behind your back. Option, shorten the lever, bend the knees. It gets easier. I know what you're thinking. You're like, this is easy, I'm going double leg. I would challenge you to get this single leg down and really nail it. The more I've studied the double leg lower, the more I like the single leg. What your challenge is, as I lower my right leg, can I get my left leg to not move at all? As I lower my left leg, the right leg doesn't move at all. That takes a lot of core and hip control. A lot of core and hip control. You find momentum in that double leg lower. We start to rock, take out the core and the hip stability. Come on. You got it right here. Three, two, you're out. Nice work. Final move, you're gonna take that dumbbell. This mat's getting so sweaty. You're gonna put it right here at the top of your mat. It is a bound burpee, high knees back. I come to the back of my space. I bound, I burpee, I high knees back. Okay, Rachel's gonna pick up her dumbbell. I'm using my dumbbell as a marker. Bound in three, two, let's go. Rachel's got low impact, she's stepping up. Come on. It is a bound, hit the deck, high knees back. Pick up that heart rate, bound, burpee, high knees back. Let's go, make it big. You got it. You gotta land with a whole lot of control. Your absorption has to be greater than the power you produce to keep those knees healthy and injury free. Come on, come on. Push it. You're working for that rest time. It comes in 10 seconds. Let's go finish it. Right here. Come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Ha! That'll raise the heart rate. Quick recovery. Grab a quick sip. We're gonna do it again. Circuit two, same moves. Four climbers, one dumbbell pull through. Okay? Can we go this way? Whew. My feet are so sweaty. I'm hitting all my sweat marks and I'm sliding. Four cross body climbers, one dumbbell pull. We're gonna face you. Awesome job. Here we go, guys. Set it up. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Circuit two times two. Second time is better, yes? Say yes. Here we go. In three, two, Let's go, climb for one, two, three, four. Pull that dumbbell through. Climb for one, two, three, four. Pull it through. You got it. One, two, three, four. Pull it through. Come on. Two, three, four, stay in it. Nice work. I should mention, my heels and my hands are like on the edge of the mat. If you start to feel this in your wrist, it's a good way to add just a slight incline to your wrist. Put them on the edge of your mat. It helps with wrist pain. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, fun tips of the day. In the final five, four, three, two, and one. Sweat is starting to fly now. It's really gonna fly next. Wood chops, wood chops. Right foot forward, left foot back. Staggered stance, left knee, right shoulder. Left knee, right shoulder. This is where I need that hair bubble. My hair should be bubbled. Woo, so sweaty up in here. Let's go, three, two, let's go, let's go. Chop. Again, core stabilizes, hips drive. 
Core stabilizes, hips drive. Down, up, down. Come on, it's big, it's powerful. This is dumbbell core training, right here. This should make you feel strong. Come on, 20, halfway, 20 seconds. So excited, I can't even get my words out. That's how much I love this move. Drive through the hips, let's go. You got it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you're out. Whew. Ha. Here we go. Leg lowers, option to hold the dumbbell overhead. Alternate leg drops. Sweat's flying now. Heart rate's rising. This is cardio and core. My favorite way to do it. Dumbbell straight overhead. Big inhale through the belly. Big exhale through the mouth. Flex the feet, lower one leg at a time in three, two, let's go, lower them. Nice. How do I keep my back connected to the mat? Bend your knees, don't lower your leg as far. Think about pulling your ribs down towards your hips. Think about squishing the marshmallow. I got a lot of cues for you to think about. So many things. Big exhale, pull that core nice and tight. The core stays tight and you gotta breathe through it. Nice work. Again, as one leg lowers, the leg that's straight overhead doesn't move. That is hip stability and core stability. You got three, two, one. Nice work, we're up. Final move, big bound, burpee, high knees back. I'm coming over here, I'm nervous. I'm gonna slip in my sweat. It is getting so sweaty up in here, guys. One bound, one burpee, high knees back. Yes, woo, finish it. It's only 40 seconds and you're working for the one minute break, is that right? Break! Yeah. You got three, two, go! Bound, burpee, high knees back. Come on, me for high impact, Rachel for low impact. Let's go! This is where you pick up the intensity, pick up the power. Come on, show me what you got. Right here. Woo! You are strong. You are so strong. You bound with so much power, you land with so much control. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Push that pace, push it. Right here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let's go, 10 seconds. What do you got for me? What do you got? Right here. Finish, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work, team. Grab some water. Here we go. Two circuits down, one to go. All right, you guys, last circuit. Dirty 30s, we like the dirty 30s for the last circuit, right? So I got one sweat towel to get all that sweat off me. It's too wet to use on the floor to slide, so I got a second towel for sliders. We're using a towel for your final circuit. You have three exercises, 35 seconds of work, or sorry, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Three moves. Your first move is a lateral towel slam. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna bound laterally, slam it on the ground, pick it up, slam it, pick it up, slam it, okay? You can go with Rachel, low impact, me, high impact. And then you're gonna show you the single leg mountain climber, it's a little bit tricky, right? I'm gonna put one leg on my towel, my slider, my glider, whatever you got. If not, you can do a standard mountain climber. Otherwise, I'm gonna float this knee, drive, drive. One floating knee. Rachel's got your modification. Remember, you only gotta do it for 30 seconds. That's why it's a tough, challenging move. And then we go slider ham curls, single or double leg. We'll show you those when we get there. You ready to do this thing, Rachel? Let's go, let's do this it. This is your final circuit and it's only three moves. 30 seconds a piece, that is one minute and 30 seconds of work. Say it, say yes I can. You got it, let's go. Let's go team, 30 seconds. Lateral towel slam, so I'm bounding laterally, slamming the towel to that outside foot, picking it up. So, bound off one leg, gather with two legs. Bound, gather, slam it. Big, powerful move. Let's do it, 30 seconds. We're gonna push left in three, two, let's go, push, slam it. Slam it, get that towel up overhead, slam it. Woo, there goes my mic. Come on, it's getting wild and crazy in here. Push, drive off that outer glute. 30 seconds, drive, push, drive, push, drive, push. Come on, stay loaded. Bit those arms overhead, bigger the arms, higher the heart rate. 10, nine, eight, you got it. Seven, let's go. Six, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it off, woo. Single leg climbers, 15 seconds of rest. Rachel's got you on the modification. I got the single leg climber. I'm gonna put the towel on my right foot. Left knee is gonna float in three, two, let's go. Drive, switch, drive, switch, 
drive, switch, drive, switch. It's hard. It is so stinking hard. Ah, my quads are on fire. Ah, quick pushback break. These are the moves that really challenge you. Come on. What would it look like if I said 10, 9, 8? You got this. Come on, stay in it. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, that is hard. So hard, but I'm glad I did it. Made it through it. We're gonna do it again. Backside. Hamstrings. I got two feet on my towel. Rachel has one foot on. Single leg versus double leg. This might be the only exercise. Lift your hips off the ground, slide out, pull in. This could possibly be the only exercise that is harder to do double-legged than single-legged. <sighs> Kick out, pull in, keep those hips lifted if you can. <sighs> you got it, come on. 10 seconds, yes you can. <sighs> ah, it burns. Five, four, three, two, you're out. Woo! Holy bananas, that floor just got so super sweaty. Ready? One more time through it, lateral push with a towel slam, mountain climber. Crazy single leg if you want to try it. Woo. Here we go. Let's push right. Push right in three, two, let's go. I think my hamstrings are cramping. Woo! Come on, push, push, slam, push, slam. Get that towel overhead. Each rep, each rep. Drive off that outer glute. This is the move that is notorious for making that outer glute sore tomorrow. Come on. Push, drive, push, drive. Come on. Ten, nine, Eight, you got it. Seven, stay with it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Wish I could say that's it. Towel's gonna go on my left leg. Right leg's gonna float. Come on, you can do this. Yes, you can. Try it. You got room, Rach? We're going this way. We're facing you. Here we go. Float it. Drive, kick. Drive, kick. Drive, kick. Ugh. The floor is so sweaty, it makes it hard. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Can't see my timer. Keep going, guys. You're crushing it. <sighs> Halfway. Woo! 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. You got it. 7, stay with it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! On your back. Hamstrings. Final move. Final move. Let's go. Finish it. Right here. Lift your glutes off. Oh, there we go. Head to head. You're on in three, two. Let's go. Rachel's got single leg. I got double leg. This is like hamstring cramp written all over it. This is a challenging move. Drive through those heels. Pull them back. Try and keep your hips lifted as you pull your heels out and in. Squeeze through those hamstrings. Big exhale. Let's go, guys. Finish it. Last move. Five, four, three, two, one more. Woo! Okay, what would you say if I said one minute burnout? That sounds like a Lindsay. What would you say, Rachel? What would you say? Let's do it. It's one minute, it's 30 seconds per side. Okay? Here's my towel. Here's my dumbbell. 15 pound I'm gonna put on there. You gotta have one dumbbell for the sweatiness, one dumbbell for the for the exercises. It is one minute of work. I'm gonna do 30 seconds on the right side, 30 seconds on the left. So I'm gonna take my right forearm to the mat, find a plank. Rachel's gonna do it from her knees. I'm gonna do it from my toes. My left hand is on my dumbbell. It pushes, it pulls. It pushes, it pulls. It's 30 seconds here, 30 seconds on the other side. Yes? This is it. The one minute burnout round we love, the bonus round. That's what Nourish Move Love is all about, the bonus round, because we are grateful. We have bodies that move. We go. In three, two, let's go. 30 seconds, push and pull. Push and pull. Really gotta stabilize that core as that arm pushes that weight away, yes? It's only 30 seconds per side. Yes, you can. Holding a single arm plank is a feat in itself. You do your best, you forget the rest. Let's go. Come on, you have a strong body. Yes, you can. You're challenging yourself today. You're moving, 10 seconds here, switching sides. Come on, finish five, four, three, two, and one, switch sides, quick switch change. 30 seconds, other side. Here we go, let's go right into it. Push and pull. Left arm on the ground, right arm. Push and pull. Yes, you can. Keep moving, 
stay in it. You are so stinking awesome. Finish strong. That stretch is right around the corner. It comes in 10 seconds, my friend. Let's go. 10, 9, 8. You got it. 7, stay with it. 6, finish strong. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Holy bananas. Slide it away. Let's stretch it out right into puppy dog stretch. Hips are high. Hips are high. Arms walk out away. Big stretch. Reach those fingertips as far away from you as you can. Hips stay high. Woo, nice stretch through those lats that we just worked. Keep walking those hands away from you with each exhale, creating length from fingertip to tailbone. Nice work. I'm so stinking proud of you. Cardio and core is a tough workout, you guys. That is like, it's high intensity strength training. That's what this HIT 35 program is all about. Finding your limit, giving you moves you know, and amplifying them, bring it up, and then giving you some new moves that you don't know, and figuring out how you can make the best of them and continue to come back and get stronger every day. From here, you're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna thread the needle and just let the ear and shoulder come down to the mat. Hips are gonna stay high because it feels really good. Awesome job, stretch out those shoulders. Shoulders are so engaged in all those core exercises, all those planks that we did today. A lot of shoulder work, you guys. Nice. Bring it back up to center. Same thing, other side, you're gonna thread the needle. Ear comes down to the mat. Nice, just reaching through. Should feel really good. Just taking some deep breaths here. So stinking proud of you for showing up. This Hit Strong 35 program is no joke. This is tough stuff, really tough stuff. Awesome job. Bring it back to center. Let's go ahead. We're going to take that towel down to the mat here. Take that towel down to the mat. And you're just going to put it around your left leg, right leg is long. Give yourself a nice hamstring stretch. This should feel good. Just kicking that leg straight overhead. Awesome. From here, you're going to grab the towel with your left hand and just open up to the left side. Bring those toes up towards your face if you can. Just opening up through that hip, that hip joint that you were stabilizing with those leg lowers. Everything that was working together from shoulder down to pelvis today. Nice work. Bring it up and over. Let's take it across the body. Hit those outer glutes. Hello, lateral pushes. Such a good stretch. Get those lateral glutes. Again, toes come up towards the face. Nice little spinal rotation here as well. Awesome job. Nice. Back to center. Let's switch out the legs. Other leg. Towel wraps around the right leg, right around the sole, arch of the foot. You're going to just pull it up. Nice little hamstring stretch here. It's going to feel so good. Awesome. Let's take it open. Open. Pull those toes up. Nice hip opening stretch here. Awesome job. Trying to keep this opposing hip on the mat. Don't let it pop off. Bring it back to center. Up and over. Spinal rotation. Outer glute stretch. Cross body. Still pulling that towel up towards the face. Nice work. Back to center. Cross your ankles. Roll yourself up to a seated, then to a standing position. One final stretch because it feels so good. Take the towel behind the back. Big exhale, chest expansion, pull the shoulders down and back, create length between the ears and the shoulders. Release it, take it up overhead. Big reach, pull that shoulder, pull that towel apart, create tension. Reach over to the right. If it feels good, you're gonna get me all the way down around. Big full body circle sweep. Back to center, other side, reach over to the left, hold here. If it feels good, take it all the way down and around. Back to center, and you are out of here. That is your 35 minute cardio and core workout part of our Hit Strong 35 program. You can find all 10 videos in our Hit Strong program linked below here. And of course, you can always find our free workout plans and all of our free workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Have an awesome day.